What up, everybody? Muscle up. I'm at the good guys out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And man, look, this is one of the first cars I ran up on and I had to get a video of this car. This is the car from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. The movie, if you remember the movie. This is um, one of my favorite cars right here. The 250 GT California, I believe it's a short wheelbase. And this is the actual replica of the car. They're asking 895,000. And man, with the Ford V8 in it, coilovers, custom suspension, it's still a beast, man. I mean, the real thing is probably 15 milli, but for 895, you can get the replica. Just a beautiful car. Wow. Beautiful. That's a very beautiful car. What's up, man? I just rolled up on this Pantera right here, and this Pantera is sick and custom interior by Armando's Customs, man. We interviewed him before. They do some of the sickest custom interiors and um, the Pantera is a hot car right now because Ken Dig did one and uh, Roaster Shop got a couple now they're doing. So let's uh, take a look at this. So our Armando, man, what's up with this car, man? Hey, what's up, man? So yeah, we got this uh, 72 uh, Pantera. Um, pretty rare car. I mean, similar looks. Uh, a lot of people they come by they look at it and they think it's a ferrari or they think it's a gt 500 but yeah it's, it's a pantera uh it's our customer from vegas um we we did the interior on it uh like you you can see up here in the front since it's a mid-engine car the trunk is up up here in front you have your battery your brakes everything nice finish in german square weave carpet that way when people look in there nice and finished that's clean I've never seen one done like that when you look in the cabin oh man brand new dash right here really high-end interior for a Pantera just in the dash I mean we spent about two weeks working on that custom dash full stereo sound system air conditioning you gotta have that in Vegas now for um i know these panteras like for the seat adjustment are these seats adjustable because typically they're, they're fixed and i know for longer yeah. taller guys how'd you guys get around that so, or did you so this these ones these are the original pantera seats so these ones i mean we we cut down the foam that way they're kind of low profile okay and um yeah good thing our customer he's he's a shorter guy so he's, he's able to get in there okay so yeah, yeah. that interior is beautiful man i mean yeah. Let me get a second look yeah, at this. Look at the headliner too. Oh man. Yeah, you guys did a hell of a job, man. And the, the this this carpet right here, is this the Mercedes weave, right? Yes. Yeah. The German square weave carpet. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Did you guys do all these fixtures right here too? Yes. They're made out of billet. Forged billet. Wow. Oh wow. Engine. So it's a uh, it's powered by a Ford, so it's a 351 Cleveland. And then these boxes right here, I've never seen these either. Yeah, the, we, we custom made them out of aluminum, so they're storage. Oh, wow, that's dope. He's able to keep his cleaners, his battery yeah. tenders. Yeah. And then we covered them the same color as the, as the interior. Oh, man, you guys did a hell of a job. How long did it take you to do this interior? This interior was about six weeks. Six weeks? Yeah. Very nice. Uh, it's, it's one of our high-end interiors for for a car like this, for a two-seater. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Pantera interiors, man, and this is uh, this one top-notch, man. You guys did a hell of a job on it. Thank you. Thank you. This car right here is, uh, yeah. and it's, it's steady going up in value. Oh yeah. Ambient lighting jumping off. Oh yeah, sick. Oh, 
So tell me about this car, because this is another one that almost escaped my eyes, man. So uh, what's up with this car? So this, this is a 39 Ford Coupe. So this, these ones, I mean, you'll see them kind of more in the original style. Nothing really custom with it, with these. So when, when we got a hold of our customer, uh, first thing we did was we welded all the, all the fenders. So everything on the car is welded together. It's all one piece. Now, what chassis is this sitting on? Is it sitting on stock chassis, or did yes, you guys... It, it's a stock, but it, everything's been all uh, converted into tubular suspension. Uh, four link in the rear, wheel with this brakes, front and rear with uh, e-brake. Uh, e and I like how you guys did these little these little compartments right here. This is, this is dope. Yeah, that's sick, man. That's a nice little added bonus right there. Put your, your little detail stuff detail, in there so it's out the way. Album. Yeah. Everything's covered in trunk line material, so everything's nothing's rattling in there. It's nice and finished. Oh man, even the top of the I don't know if you guys can see that, but the top of the trunk is also lined. And you guys did all the restoration on this, the restoration right? Restoration thing, body work. Like I said, we, we welded all the fenders, um, full custom, all leather interior. Wow. Power windows, full stereo system, six and a half in the front, six by nines in the rear with a 10 inch subwoofer. Custom made dash. If you look at it, an original 39 Ford, that's the dash, it's completely different. And now, how, how long was this build right here? This build was about two years. And you guys did a hell of a job. Suede headliner? It's actually a cloth. It's a Mercedes oh, it? cloth. Wow. Similar to suede. Another another big thing that we did to this car. If you look from here over down straight, it's a nice straight line. In the in the originals, these ones they curve right here. So you kind of have a little butt right there. Oh, okay. So when you look at it, it's nice and straight line. So you guys gave it a more of a streamlined look. Uh -huh. Ten and, ten and a half in the rear, and I think they're eights in the front. Now, what motor setup are we running here in Tranny? So this one, since there was going to be a driver, uh, my customer, he's really old school. He put a 327. Okay. And uh, Holly EFI? Yes. And then uh, I believe it's, it's a three-speed. Okay. The reason, so you run a Turbo 400 or three, a 350? Yeah, turbo, turbo 400. 400, yeah. 400. Okay. Yeah. The reason why we did it with like a 700 R was because of the housing on the <laughs> transmission. It was too big. And okay. We're gonna have to modify the floor more. Yeah, yeah. Turbo 400 is a little bit smaller. Yeah. You don't have to cut the tunnel, uh -huh. trans tunnel. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. And then I grill right here, man. Yeah. So that that grill is man. Company at uh, Aluma Shop back in back east. Right. They make those. All underneath, nice finish too. Yeah, this is nice. And he drives this car? Yeah, we actually delivered it, so he's gonna drive it home today. Wow, badass man. And what is you guys' uh, IG and contact stuff? So um, our website is ArmandosCustoms.com and uh, Instagram ArmandosCustom, and uh, we're also on YouTube Armando's Custom Upholstery. So yeah, just reach out to us if you guys have any questions, anything you guys are working on. More than free to answer those questions. And where are you guys based out of? In uh, California by Palm Springs. Okay. He Hemet. A okay. Little, little small town, but big hot rods come out of there. Good stuff, man. Thank you for, yeah. for the interview, man. All right. Go to MuscleUpDetailSpray.com and pick you up some merch. Now check out this hot rod right here. With the patina and the monster tires on the back. Wow, what do you guys think of this? Is this something uh, you would uh, push right here? It's got that rat rod look, and it's a 1934 uh, Ford. All metal. I'll take a look at this T-Bird right here. Tell me, have you seen one with a stance like this? 
this thing is clean right here. Ooh, beautiful car. 57 T-Bird. Man, it's sitting right here. Take a look at this interior. They did a hell of a job on this car. Wow. Beautiful. Art Morrison bag frame. You know this thing is about the business when it drives. Now this is a car I've never featured, 1957 Mark II. That's what I like about good guys. There's a bunch of cars you've never seen and YouTube rarely gives an opportunity for these cars to be on the channel. I mean, come on. There's nothing like an American classic. I mean, look at the lines on this car. Beautiful. Timeless right here. I mean, even the reproduction of the wheels. And they made all the interior look like it's still classic, but with the modern amenities. Man. Beautiful right here. I mean, look at that leather. It's got a speaker in the center back there, too. Wow. I've seen a lot of trucks, but damn it, I've never seen a truck like this. Wow. Look at the blue on this. 1966 Chevy C10. That fender, huh? They did a good job on this one. Air right sitting right. Nice stance. And look at the frame, it's even powder coated to match the interior. And they relocated the gas tank. Beautiful. And this orange interior kind of sets it off. With the wood, yeah, this sets it off. Check out the 73 Plymouth Cuda, you guys. So this Cuda right here barely has 50 miles on it, man. But look at this, man. Supercharged Hemi. So you know it's uh, got the power to put down to the wheels. I'm not sure what chassis it's got on it, but typically they mod the chassis and this paint on this thing is just like, wow. Said it took them three years to do this car, to build it. Beautiful build. And look how they integrated the spoiler. If you guys can't see that, it's all smoothed in there. So, you know, this is all metal right here. The light bezels, everything you see, the tuck bumpers, there's a lot of little details a lot of you guys probably don't know, but all that is just, this is in the detail. And look at the wheels, massive brakes. I've never seen, man, these bears of what, 14 inches? Wow. Bad ass. Wow. All the modern amenities in this thing too. Man, this is just over the top. Good guys, you see some stuff that just blows you away, man. It's not even comparable to supercars. In my opinion, when you build something like this, this is a supercar. Now, here's another top show finisher at the Good Guys. We have this 67 Chevelle. Take a look at this beauty. Man, so nice, man. Look at the lines on this car. you guys get a peek at these bare brakes and I can probably guarantee you this has the roaster shop chassis on it take a look at the interior oh man this is artwork right here rolling artwork beautiful this candy Corvette over here got my attention so I had to come get a quick peek at it before you guys look at this man that paint is nice 
beautiful, beautiful candy on this car. Wow. Got that nice leather up in there. Clean, clean. I've seen this Lincoln in the distance, so I had to come get a peek at this. Look at this right here. Clean 61. that motor man and it's pro charge it's a lot of metal work on this car man it's a big car and it's got the right stance on it so it's got ride tech air ride 351 windsor with a vortec one supercharger it's a big car man Did the interior right. Look at that. I take a look at this Chevelle right here. Woo! Nasty. Supercharged. And looks like the same motor from a Cadillac CTS V in this 68. Wow. Look at that beauty. Let's get a closer look at that at that engine. That engine compartment, man, that's where the magic happens. Clean. Chevelle, man, one of my favorite cars. 69 to the 72. Beautiful. Let's get a look at this interior. This is where all the magic happens Woo. Oh man this is a comfortable ride right here clean you know I gotta take a peek at them brakes them bears uh, man good guys Bel Air right here 55 post and I think it's like a mirror the motor in this thing ramjet a candy that orange with the flakes up in it Ooh, you can see it it's got like a pearl or something in it beautiful leather up in there the matching gauges to set it off. So this is the autocross, autocross of the year right here. Yeah, he's handled his business on the autocross right here. Corvette. And we got a hot rod of the year. Beautiful hot rod. Clean. Muscle machine of the year. Look at this. Man, beautiful car. Oh yeah, this is uh, Kevin Hart right here, I believe. Beautiful truck. So this is the truck of the year. Look at this. This is the last show of the year for good guys. Another one of my all-time favorites is the Riviera, man. I will have one of these soon. They were so ahead of their time with their interior. Man, you don't really even have to change anything. You just update the leather if you have to. Super clean right here. 64 Buick Riviera. Beautiful. Beautiful car. One bad angle. Every angle of this car is beautiful. Not the car of the year right here. Plymouth Roadrunner. So far. 
beautiful car, man. They cleaning the house. Nice car. Oh man, look at this right here. Look at the detail. This is this is beautiful right here, man. So this is the uh, Street Rod Del Elegance. And you can see why it's Del Elegance. I mean, the detail. I think the work of art. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that, man. Looks like Pagani work up in here. Wow. I've seen this car in SEMA. I want to say this is a uh, Kendig, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not Kendig. But I've seen this car in SEMA. Bad. Bad to the bone. Look how clean it is. You have Camaros and then you have Camaros. Work of art. And I apologize, this is not a Camaro. This is a Firebird, man. My bad, it's a Firebird, so sorry. But I'm so used to seeing Camaros, I didn't really even pay that much attention because I'm so busy tripping off of the artwork on the car actually a firebird twin turbos 